Hey, yo, anytime someone requests my boy Andy Mineo, I'm always hyped for it, and I'm always here for it. Roll it. Now, y'all know Andy's my boy. I done made the Jackson Pollock video. I made the album artwork for his most recent EP. We be chatting it up and cracking jokes and all that, but what I will say is I haven't gone back to listen to any Andy Mineo that I haven't already heard because I want to save them for reactions. It's that reactor's dilemma. Do I listen for personal pleasure or do I do it for, or do I do it for views on, on the channel, you know? So I'm always happy when people on Patreon request CHH, specifically Andy, and today's request comes from Caleb. Caleb. Caleb, I want to say that's Cudlac. That's how it's pronounced. Caleb, yo, I appreciate your Patreon membership at the tier that allows you to get a request in my guy. Everybody else who's out there who wants to potentially become a Patreon and get a request, just know that I only do this full time because of the people that support on Patreon and now that support on Twitch as well. So if you want to support me in a bigger way than just the subscription, then consider joining Patreon or subscribing on Twitch because the Twitch is a vibe just as much as the Patreon is. But other than that, y'all, I'm excited to get to it. Oh, by the way, Caleb, I didn't find honest moments i know that that's what you said the only thing that i was able to find was honest to god off of his work in progress mixtape so i'm assuming that this is what you're talking about but either way we got andy minio honest to god let's get it Okay, this is definitely the song because he said honest moment in the first line. So I, I love when Andy is open and like is uh and is very vulnerable with his thoughts and letting us know that obviously he he's a he's an entertainer. He's got a brand. He's got like a personality that he shows like in his music and on online and his online presence. It's all funny. It's all like just it's it's all just like very dope. It's very chill. So I like when artists like Andy are able to come out here and show us the the internal struggle and and, and the mindset that goes that's not normally shown on on social media i think that's fire look on this moment some days i'm too afraid to create because i'm fearful all my greatest ideas have gone to waste i know mm. that if i would they would probably be good but who got time for being good when you want to be great but super great i knew that that line was coming as soon as time for being good and create i knew it rhymed with great uh, that's a dope line though like sometimes sometimes i'm scared to make creation sometimes i'm scared to make vlogs i'm scared to make videos because like what if my what if my better days are already behind me but who got time for being good when you want to be great but super critical plus my heart growing super cynical people hang around acting like they super into you meanwhile all the scheme to see what they can get from you prayers in these cab rides that became a ritual uh, i told mm. god i want to live for you prayers in these cab rides that became a ritual bro i said this on i forgot what video i think it was kid Leroy, where i'm like imagine having to worry about constantly the people that are that that want to come into your life or that want to befriend you like imagine having to worry if there's snakes slithering in the grass trying trying they like they have they have some type of ulterior motive you know that's got to be it's got to be stressful prayers in these cab rides that became a ritual uh, i told god i want to live for you but it's hard to live oh that little up into the up into the up into the rim shot or the clap clean in these cab rides that became a ritual uh, i told god i want to live for you but it's, dope, it's hard bro. to live right just when it costs residual cuts and plus mm. for my faith i face ridicule but in light of that glory the commas all minuscule uh, and my wife feeling calm the commas all minuscule i like i face i face criticism for putting my for putting my faith into my into my work i've said it in the past between like other between other like chh artists and someone like andy like to me like dilly he's he's up no big deal he's like he's probably puts his faith more in the forefront of his music more so than any other chh artist that i listen to which is which is fine he's a vibe he's a solid artist but andy like floats that line between putting like being chh and being a normal commercial mainstream rapper because his flow style is like that and and it's more like a spiritual him talking to god more so than him talking to us about god you know i've said it in the past that it's like very it's very um um talking about my experience my human experience being a religious person versus telling us to be religious you know and i feel Feel like that's that's that struggle for Andy because he loves his faith and loves putting it into his music but that also that also potentially hinders how big that he can get because he's put in the quote-unquote stereotypical Christian hip-hop artist you know the face ridicule but in light of that glory to come is all minuscule uh, and my wife feeling competition with my career but I feel mm. in competition with every rapper right here the day I stop 
My wife feel in competition with my career, bro. This is the same thing that Lil Dicky said on uh on Molly when on on his track. I forgot what he said, but he's like, you like you knew I, I, you and I both knew I was always gonna put your my career before you. So I understand why you had to leave. That doesn't mean it didn't hurt. I mean that's not necessarily the case for Andy, but that same thing like. People will have this drive and this passion and this talent and just relentless drive for what they do. Like sometimes the relationships can fall by the wayside. Text message breakup, the casualty of tour, you know? That's Kanye West, Devil New Dress, by the way. But I feel in competition with every rapper right here. The day I stop doing this, probably my biggest fear. But she the only one to be there when nobody care. So mm. my priorities change. Who even keep a score in this game? The price of fame, quite the chore to maintain. Record bro, priorities change. Who even keep in score in this game, bro? Everybody's life is different. Everybody's individual experiences. There is no score. Not everybody's timeline is the same. Time is a figment of your imagination. It's all, it's all, it's all relative. Like there's mad artists that are bigger than Andy and I'm sure that's frustrating especially if you're a competitive person and you know you've got the skill to be at that level but then there's also people like at the very bottom trying to grind who wish that they were at the position that Andy is in you know the price of fame quite the chore to maintain record execs they always want pour you champagne that all stop when the record sell reports ain't the same who really mm. love you who really love you who really love you let me ask again who really love you enough to hug you and tell you when you acting like a sucker and never judge you that's not rhetorical give a call Bro, who, who, that's such a bar, son. Who really love you enough to hug you and tell you that you being a sucker? Like, bro, you're doing some dumb, you're doing some dumb ish right now. But at the same time that they're telling you this, they're not judging you for it. Like they're trying to tell you because they want to see you be the best version of you. And he said the record label execs, they always want to pour you champagne and still, until they see that the number, you're, you're nobody to them. You're just an artist. You're just a, you're just another form of the record label making profit. And once you fall off, the champagne stops. It's, Dope. It's not rhetorical, crazy line. Whoever that is, say thanks for everything that they did. Life is fragile. We here for a blink and an end. The definition mm. of family, the same for the friends. The loyalty thicker than the blood that's under your skin. Them honest moments. Bro, the, yo, Andy's spitting these bars, these facts, son. This is why I call y'all guys right here who watch this, who are subscribed to me, the third fam. Because, like, the family isn't always what's under the skin. Family ain't always the blood that runs through you. Family, there's people that are going to be more down for you that have no relation to you than people who share the same bloodline as you. First fam bloodline, second fam is my immediate circle of friends who are like first fam, and then third fam is y'all because y'all ride, y'all, y'all, we're, we're a community, we're a family together, you know? It's dope. Loyalty thicker than the blood that's under your skin, them honest moments. <laughs> How often do we have them? This beat sounds really? like... This beat sounds like some uh, some Drake type beat, like some Drake so far gone type beat. Fear, Western Road flows, like that type of that type of like introspective. We're just gonna get in our feels. We're gonna get in our internal thoughts type beat. Can I have one? We going public with our highlights. Uh, private with our sin. Throwing up pictures at the party. But not the one throwing up at the end. Oh, Lord, honest moment. Bro, they show you pictures at the party, but not the ones throwing up at the end. Everybody only wants to show you the highlights of the life that they live to make their online personality seem like they're bigger and more grand and they got no worries. You don't want to know my life. You just want to see the highlights. Shout out MGK, bro. Pictures at the party, but not the one throwing up at the end. Oh, Lord, honest moments. How often do we have them? Even with our closest hard questions, hope that they never ask them. Mm. Ironically, they feel the same. We both acting, feeling like a joke. That's why I try to keep them laughing. Crisis happened. Feeling like a joke. That's why I try to keep them laughing. Honest questions and like those deep moments. How often do we have them? We don't want to even. We don't even want to face those realities. So we're hoping that they don't ask these questions because we don't want to face the truth, even though we know the truth. We don't want to actually have to say it out loud. I try to keep them laughing. Crisis happened in my faith. I felt trapped in. Didn't know if God was just something I imagined. Meanwhile, mm. people got questions. They asking me about Jesus, but I ain't got the answer. Sway. It's crazy when you know. Asking me about Jesus, but I don't got the answer, Sway. Especially when Kanye West calls himself Jesus. They asked me about Jesus, but I don't got the answer. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's actually out there. I don't know what's actually out there, but I believe. That's why it's called faith. You're 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 putting your belief into something that you aren't sure is actually there. Or it's not that you're not sure that, that he's not there. You could be sure, but there's no proof to show that some something is out there, somebody is out there. That's why they call it faith.
but that you ain't got the answer, Sway, when Kanye West went off on, on Sway in the morning. But he said, crisis in my faith I felt trapped in. Didn't know if God was just something that I imagined. Like, is he even is he even out there? There's a crisis with my in internal struggle with what I believe. That, that's, that'll rock you to your core, especially if you're someone like if you're if you have a such a strong belief in your faith and then you have and then you have like a crisis moment happening to where you don't even know if if it's real. That's something that rocks you to your core because now you're like, I spent 20 years of my life. I spent 20 years of my life in the faith and I don't even know if it's real. That's something that'll wear you down inside. Questions they asking me about Jesus, but I ain't got the answer, Sway. It's crazy when you know for your faith. You supposed to give it, but you never get grace. So show up mm. on stage, put on that face. I'm just trying to hold on. Hope I finish my race, uh. Bro, he said, he said it's crazy when you're known by your faith. Like he's not allowed to have a bad day. Like he's not allowed to be human. He's he has to be. He has to give all glory to God all the time, and and he has to he has to know that God's gonna do right by him. Like yeah, that that's what he believes, but he's still a human being. And people believe just because people are faith based that that not, that it's all happy go lucky. He's still a normal dude with issues, just like they're just like the rest of us, you know. And I just wanna hear him say well done. How I feel right now, well done. Ain't nobody asking me how I'm doing. They just like, hey, yo, where the next album? Here mm. it is, honest to God, that's all I can be. Oh, there it is. Honest to God, that's all I can be. No one cares about, everyone asks about Andy Minio, but no one asks about Andy Minio, you know? They wonder, oh, any girl, don't tempt me. And as of late, I'm looking into therapy. Forget scaring other rappers, man, I'm scared of me. Mm. mental health issues in my family tree. My grandmother died of Alzheimer's last time I see her, yo, she ain't even remember me. I Ooh. gotta wonder if the same ends meant for me. Yo, my grandma died of Alzheimer's and last time I saw her, I wondered if she she didn't even know who I was, bro. And yes, Alzheimer's disease is a genetic disease. And he said, I'm not scared of anybody out there. I'm searching for therapy because I'm scared of the person in the mirror, yo. I said, and so I, ju I literally just said that, like, he is a normal person. He goes through the normal struggles that everybody goes. If anything, his struggles might be even worse because he has this pressure to, like, he has this pressure to be an entertainer on top of the fact that he has these issues. So he can't show those issues like no, like you and I can normally. It's crazy. Went through depression in December 2016, the worst year I could remember. I was sitting at the table with my wife, started weeping, tears falling down my face. I ain't even know the reason, started mm. reading. Learned as my body's way of release and stress that I've been carrying over these seasons. Uh, and in my darkest time, friends are what I needed, but I hadn't sown there, so it wasn't much for me to really reap it. I hadn't sown there, so there wasn't really much for me to really reap in. Bro, like, you reap what you sow. I, had, I hadn't I had sowed those friendships. Like, he was reading that friendships are a way to alleviate the stress and release, but he, he's he been, not that he's been mistreating his friends, or he just hasn't been, he hasn't been the best friend in terms of putting time into the friendship relationships with, with his boys and with people around him. So he can't even lean on them because he hasn't been, he can't reap the benefits of having that those type of friendships because he never sowed them to begin with. That's crazy line, bro. And then just the fact that he said it learned my so way my body is like way of relieving stress that I've been carrying over these seasons to make the rhyme scheme fit instead of like saying stress that I've been carrying over time or all of these years. But you still get the point that he's talking about an annual seasons like cycles. It's clean. But I had it so there, so it wasn't much for me to really reap it. Losing faith in things that I once believed in. Even myself, I think Satan sin is in demons must be doing something right to get this opposition meaning i should go the hardest when i feel like quitting god kill me if i ever stop should go the hardest when i feel like quitting bro that that's always gonna that's always gonna be what makes or break somebody from being the greatest that the greatest self that they can possibly be do you do you fold under pressure do you fold when things are going wrong or do you go even harder to push past because you're gonna hit those walls and you got to try there, there's no other way around them other than through you know are you gonna go through or are you just gonna call it quits right there Opposition, meaning I should go the hardest when I feel like quitting. God kill me if I ever start mixing personal ambition and call it the righteous mission. Cause from a distance, most people couldn't tell the difference. That's the thing that make me ashamed to say I'm Christian. Got it. Bro, that's a bar. We're gonna go back again. Meaning I should go the hardest when I feel like quitting. God kill me if I ever start mixing personal ambition and call it the righteous mission. God forgive me if or God kill me if I ever start mixing personal ambition and call it a righteous mission, bro. Because the righteous mission is to be selfless. It's what it's to want to do for what's around you. And it's a selfish thing to say that, you know, my personal ambitions are a righteous mission. Because your personal ambitions are selfish. It's things that you want for yourself. And the righteous mission is is to 
do is to do right by those around you. Clean line. My distance, most people couldn't tell the difference. That's the thing that make me ashamed to say I'm Christian. Got they lying on your name on the television. Uh, and Benny Hinn getting Benjamins. Uh, and now I get it. Why most hate religion? Cause division and oppression is what been depicted. But two mm. choices, young. I have why most people hate religion because the vision and oppression was been depicted, son. Yo. And it is true. All religion, whatever, whichever one you are, it should be like it should be not necessarily a perfect relationship, but it show it should show you the relationship that you can and should have with God. But it's the human factor that makes these religions like it's what it's what turns people off to them because a lot of religious people are also very they're also very cynical or, or a lot of religious people are very are very judgmental. It's almost like they're doing the opposite of what their religion is preaching because they feel like they're on a higher pedestal than you are because they're religious and you're not. And that right there turns hella people off to religion. And then you also got like, like for example, in the Catholic religion, all of the scandals, all of the pedophile scandals, like these things turn people off to what, what the religion should be, which is getting you and identifying your personal beliefs to get closer to God. And that's one of the reasons why Christian hip hop artists have a hard time breaking it out into the mainstream. I feel like maybe Andy and Lecrae are the two biggest ones, but even then they, they can't seem to get over that hurdle because they have that Christian hip hop tied to their name and people have this negative stigma about Christianity or about people who about people who are faith based, you know? It's crazy. Why most hate religion cuz the vision and oppression is what been depicted, but two choices young man make a decision. Throw your hands up and say forget it or be the difference for a minute mm. to share how I felt honest with y'all cuz now I'm being honest with myself, honest with Honest with y'all cuz I'm being honest with myself. How often do we have We go live with the highlights, bro, and we go silent with the pain, like literally on IG live, but we don't be posting about them internal struggles. I feel like I feel like people need to post that. That's why I post things in the way that I do on videos like with breakups or with like something struggling with the channel or what have you, because I want to show you that it's not all that like the YouTube life isn't all glamorous, like like life still gets me down. There's still pressures, you know? So I want to be the one that's like, yo, I'm still a real person. So I show the highlights and the low sides. I want we go live with the highlights. We go silent with the pain. Mm. We don't tell nobody. Cause we don't want no shame. Mm. But if you only knew, if you only knew, even when you're scared to let down, don't you know they're scared like, like, like you? Ooh. Don't you know that they scared like you? No one, no one is, no one is safe from feeling this, from feeling this uh, insecurity. You know. Not even people that are at the biggest moments of their career or their life. And it's fire, bro. Andy just Andy keeps it real all the time. He just stays real. And that's one of the things that I like about his music. It's like that person. It's like that perfect blend between between commercial music, but also bringing his faith in. And this is and this is something that he has to try to get around as like a CHH artist or that label uh, on him is because he has to he has to show people some way that he's not preaching like Christianity so much. He's more preaching his individual experience with the religion and how that ties into his normal everyday experience, not necessarily preaching to us that we need to get we need to get right with God. You know, it's more like, yo, I got right with God and here's the path that it's taken me. That's what I feel about his music. And it definitely does put him kind of like in a weird in a weird state because he like floats this line. He's like on this bubble where most people don't sit. They're either fully Christian music or they're fully commercial. Like I, there's not there's Andy videos that I've done like coming in hot where I see comments under there that's like this isn't Christian music. Like why why is he talking about having like you know practicing having kids with his wife? That's like sexual innuendo. Like he's a human being. There's gonna there's people that want him to stay Christian music. So they're going to then they're going to chastise him for sounding commercial. And then there's people that are going to want him to be commercial that are going to chastise him for sounding Christian. It's like a lose lose situation. And he has to float that line, which causes a lot of, I'm sure, internal anxiety and stress. So this is him just being all the way real with us. You know, it's, I think that's dope. Obviously, the instrumentals fire. Obviously, Andy's flow is tight. Everything about this track. And it was crazy is that this track is on an album of like unreleased tracks that that are that were like concepts and ideas for his podcast. So even though it's an officially released track, it wasn't like an official song. So imagine all the other things that he has just stored in that he's never released. I always think about that. Fire, yo. Fire. But yo, 
That brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing, long form breakdowns, thoughts, feedback, commentary. That's how I get down around here. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button. If you're someone who potentially wants to support the channel in a bigger way and you want to do it monetarily, like I said, I only do this full time because of Patreon. So if that's something that you want to join in on, then consider clicking the Patreon or supporting monetarily on Twitch as well. The live streams, if you haven't been in them, they're fire. It's like very... It's a very tight feeling community because it's live. I'm able to actually have conversation with people. So if you want to join any of that, it's the first two links in the description. Always hit up my social medias. Those are linked right after. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everybody's time. Like I would say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.